<laughs> that was okay. funny. Yeah. The end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the end. Mm. So it, yeah, that's her. Interesting. Hmm. Um, Charlize Theron. I wonder what her character is. Clea. Because yeah, Clea, <laughs> Clea is her name. Powerful Clea. sorceress. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, <laughs> another sorcerer. Yeah. Sorceress. And apparently she's there to stop some incursions, as she says. Uh, at the end there. So and apparently she she's got some romance with strange happening i mean at least in the comics so it, it okay. could be setting up mm. for that too given that you know christine has moved on yeah, <laughs> yeah. well christine's married to someone else <laughs> yeah. yeah he never gets a girl yeah it <laughs> <laughs> all stuck to strange not getting the girl yeah mm. so new alliance new romance that may be you mm. know what's yeah. gonna happen in the future I yeah. guess it sort of makes sense because, like, Doctor Strange will be on. Yeah. Yeah. New new chapter, you know, right? Yeah. New chapter. Okay. And that interesting question. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> and what was that that line from uh, Wonder Vision? <laughs> Grief <laughs> or something in love. <laughs> I can't what remember. Is, what is... What if... What is... Okay, what is grief if not love persevere? Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Get an eye at the end, Doctor Strange. The third eye, yes. It, there is. That's, that is because of the dark hole. Remember how he he told him that it exerts a heavy toll on on the reader. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. Right. So that's what's happening. <clears throat> yeah. So he has that third eye that's there, um, mm. and that's um, causing him, <laughs> you know, obviously some issues. Um, like it, it's the after effects of having use the dark hold yeah the power yeah however it is a contradiction because uh remember agatha and scarlet which used the dark hold but they never had the same kind of i mean they didn't get a third eye <laughs> Not a third eye, but, but I their want... fingers got really dark oh, yeah black. Uh, i wonder though yeah what, what... beyond the darkened fingers that's it right yeah yeah but it's not exactly a contradiction because, as they said, the dark hole was a witch's tool. Right. Oh. Yes. So I guess for for someone who isn't a witch that uses it, it you know it has a different, has a different physical yeah. chain. Yeah. Well, as because as again, they like... said like it's not. Mm. It's, they split sorcery and wizardry as separate. Mm. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's a bad thing because at the end, <laughs> it doesn't seem to have made him evil or anything. He's just he's probably gonna it? use it for good, having the third eye. <laughs> yeah, but effectively, the suit does seem like the third eye is what happens to some of the sorcerers and you. Yeah, and Doctor Strange, it's always gonna be the third eye. Yeah, yes. the eye of uh, Agaba Agamotto. In the comics, the third eye is actually yeah. an organic manifestation. <laughs> the eye of Agamator. Yeah. <laughs> A higher level of consciousness. Interesting, huh? <laughs> well, I have the eye of Agamator. You have the eye of Agamotto. <laughs> like the replica of it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's it. If he's got a third eye, he's gonna <laughs> team up with Clea. <laughs> yeah, but what a movie! It's actually a shorter movie than most, but quite good. A lot of things happen. There's and, a lot of things happening, yeah. And I mean, it progresses guess, quite quickly. Yeah, no. it, it's quite like I mean, there's a lot of action, pretty much. Um, even mm. though it's a long movie, um, it's not too long. It's only yeah, two it's hours. Quite fast paced, so. Yeah. 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 And we got the director back into Marvel, Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi. Yeah. And you're right, it's, it's, it feels horror because it's Sam Raimi. Yeah, yeah. So he's uh, infused some of, I feel like, you know, like some of the Evil Dead kind of elements. And the hor know. horror tropes that he uses. Yeah, yeah. Especially like with, um, I think, tentacles, you know, of the, um, what do you call it? The octopus. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, reminds Sandy. me a little bit of Evil Dead. Yeah. Um, like shaky camera, the signal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there are some horror elements. It, it, there are some bits, are, I guess, would be, you know, sort of like a jump scare kind of. Jump thing. scare, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some jump scares, but seriously not too horror. It's like a really, yeah. really light yeah, horror. It's light horror. But, but especially, you know, her with the blood walking around with that. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's, so... <laughs> that's actually kind of interesting because yeah. Disney has been allowing a lot of this yeah. kind of pushing, stuff recently. Pushing the limits a bit. Well, yeah. What other movies has he done, Sam Raimi? Oh, he's done... Uh, this Raimi vs. Spider-Man. Oh. The first part, first and second, uh, Tom B. Maguire Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Scarecrow, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a fairly, fairly good trilogy. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. So yeah, very, very interesting to see. What, what, do, you, what do you think about him killing, killing off the uh, Illuminati so quickly? <laughs> you mean was, her? Oh, sorry, her killing the Illuminati so quickly. I mean, they appeared and then they died, right? It was a, Captain it Carter. Kind of make, it kind of makes sense because they're not the. Yeah, they're not main the prime, timeline main. MCU. Yeah. But interestingly yeah. enough, they did call the same universe 616. 616, is it? It's, oh. If you remember Far From Home, even that fake guy, there was, uh, what was the guy's name? Fishbowl Head, also said 616. Mm-hmm. But this Earth is eight three eight, right? Yeah, and they the, they travel to eight three eight, but yeah. the current MCU is six one six. Oh, the current MCU yeah. is six one six. Yeah, so it's not it's not zero <laughs> or one. Yeah, <laughs> the one where they return to um six one six. Yeah, six one six, which is interesting. So how how's <laughs> the fake sorcerer guy know six one six or Earth six one six? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe he got picked it up from some hero at some point and mm-hmm. called it six one six. Right. We don't know. How did the guy know about? It? What was his name again? Fishbowl. Head. Fishbowl. In far from home. Mm-hmm. If we got that guy's name, but he was a fake sorcerer. So is it really six of six one six? The French, yeah. Well, six one six is the comic thing as well. Yeah. yeah okay. What what the six one six was like the prime Marvel storyline. So it seems like six one six will is sort of following the 616 in the comics. Interestingly, it first Not appeared exactly. in Dr. Eric Selvig's chalkboard. <laughs> when um, the six, see this? Uh, yeah, 616. Yeah, so it has been continuing. Maybe he got it from Eric Selvig. So it was, that was the first mention. Uh, yeah. yeah, he said that's 616 boring. universe. Because um, and then uh, Mysterio, is that oh, this guy? That's that's the name. Fishbowl Mysterio, Mysterio. Mysterio also mentioned explicitly. Mm. Yes, uh, exactly. He called it Earth six one six, and then now it's again yeah, yeah. Earth six one six. Um. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but effectively, normally we shouldn't even believe anything that's. Mysterious is because he's a fake. <laughs> there is no way that Mysterio could have known that the MCU was 0616. Because he exactly. wasn't just an actor with no real knowledge of the multiverse. He faked the multiverse. He said that he was from the multiverse. Mm, yeah. But we knew from the movie that he wasn't. Yeah. So is it really 616? But yeah, okay. But Selvig did say 616. Maybe he got it from Selvig and then it's Christine Palmer photo put it as a 616. Yeah. So this, 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 he, he looked into their research, maybe. 
Because there's true. also other people saying it's Earth one nine 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 nine. So so there's this debate about is it six one six or is it one nine 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 nine? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, effectively think... now they've actually just said Christy Palmer herself just said it's six one six. I think we'll just stick with that. I think six one six. I think it's easier to say. <laughs> exactly. The, so yeah, it's it's. It's more concise. Six one six. Yeah. Yeah. Cinematic denomination of one nine 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 nine. Which we probably have not seen anywhere in the MCU. That's right. Yeah, it's only more the comics. Yeah. So yeah. maybe six one six is the MCU official. Yeah. Earth number. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh. Well, that's an interesting theory, anyway. Yeah. So now it's been sort of confirmed it's six point six. There was a there was a savior guy, right? the Picard guy. Yeah, part of the Illuminati. Patrick yeah, Stewart, Pic Picard. It, it's hmm. funny yeah, to he's back. It because apparently Illuminati is, is sort of like the Stone Masons, or you know, like or the Freemasons, something like that. The Freemasons is like, you know, one of those secret society names. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And if you watched Miss Marvel, mm. the Illuminati aunties. <laughs> yeah, like that was one of the groups or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> but overall, a solid movie. I think it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, very good. <laughs> a lot of things happen, a lot of battles. Yeah, a lot of battles. And it's... Like, and we guess to get hit some one division. Hmm. Did you notice this one division was on the TV hmm. when Xavier went into her mind? Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, that was actually on the TV. Looking at it again, yeah, it was. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. So it's, it's a bit of a crossover then, right? It, it wasn't previously Marvel, right? So, yeah. It's oh, not exactly oh. a crossover. Oh. But they are kind of confirming that eventually they will be coming in. Yeah, because the X-Men is now under the same umbrella. This um Disney, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, because Fox this belongs to Disney acquired Fox. Yeah. Disney, yeah. Like with exactly. just like just like the Fantastic Four. That's why they could have uh John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, but it's not the first time they've actually teased the Fantastic mm. Four coming in. That was yeah. so in Far From Home. Fantastic Four. Mm. Yeah, but in, in Far From Home, basically the Stark Tower or Avengers Tower, Stark Tower became Avengers Tower, and then apparently... Stark sold it, so it was empty in Far From Home. Yeah. Since they were moving in Homecoming, yeah. so they said something big is coming with like a circle, which sort of similarly looked like the Fantastic Four one, and that kind of kind of confirmed that Fantastic Four mm -hmm. is coming into the MCU. Oh, okay, so yes. the original Stark Tower or Avengers Tower will be the Baxter building. Mm. Which they kind of probably confirm more even now mm. because of Ultron in this this new universe. Mm. And it's the US is his smartest man alive. So something must have happened to Stark and Mr. Fantastic must have does have the Baxter building, of course, mm. and a family. And apparently, they actually made Ultron work. Mm. These robots were yeah. part of the Ultron initiative. Yeah. That is what Ultron was meant to be. So, Mr. Fantastic did what Stark could not, and probably in the same tower. So. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
Yep. yep. So now we know the Fantastic Four is coming. They have confirmed it a while back as well that they were. We just didn't know the casting. Yeah. I just hope that it's, you know, a, a good version, you know, when they eventually have the, the movie for Fantastic Four. Yeah. The previous movies were just like not great. <laughs> it wasn't very, yeah, it wasn't very good. So hopefully they can revitalize that. Well, they revitalized the actors, definitely. Hmm. Like Chris Evans was in the original Fantastic Four. John, they completely uh, saved him. Johnny. Johnny. He, he oh, played yeah. the Human Torch. Yeah, he played the Human Torch. Oh, I see. I wonder who they'll cast this time. Have they announced anything yet about casting or not? No, no. They even saved the other silly Human Torch which was really bad at the other movie. Michael B. Jordan. Mm. That's, that's strange. Is it Black <laughs> Michael yeah. B. Jordan. <laughs> and then he would play there in Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, mm. he also played the Human Torch in that yeah. even more failed Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a few hours, isn't it? Fantastic Four. Mm. So who would be the new Human Torch? Mm. <laughs> Who would be the invisible woman and who would be the thing? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there were some fan favorite casting. You know, mm. um, interesting to see if they. But John Krasinski, I think he might have been a fan choice as well. Yeah, he was a fan oh, choice. Okay. For a long time, everyone wanted him to be. Yeah. Okay. And so they got it. They got it. But mm. then he's dead now. So. <laughs> Oh, no, that, that's that movie. universe that, one. That universe only. That universe one. I know, I know. Completely get... so, so they can still have you know, oh. Don Kaczynski as. Yeah. As another yeah. version, yeah. And we'll still probably have a new Xavier <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, if he wants to come back. Yeah. He could, yeah. He could Previously, come. he said no more, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, he, he, said, he said in Logan, he said Logan is his last. X Men appearance. Yeah. Yep, he did. You don't know. And, like... and he died multiple times. How many times after he died? I yeah. know. <laughs> Who died? Yeah. Xavier. Mm. Xavier oh. died many times. Yeah, yeah. Like he died in like X Men Three. <laughs> he died in Logan, mm. and he dies again here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Not many lives. <laughs> oh no, this one is uh, an alternate one. So. Yeah. Of course, yeah. But then you, you'll have to say that the Fox oh, okay, yeah. one was also alternate. I mean, I suppose they also have the choice to bring James um, McAvoy back um, as Professor X if they wanted to go like a younger version. Um, Professor X. Yeah. yeah. McAvoy is Stuart. These titles are too, are too confusing. <laughs> yeah. That was a quote from Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool. Mm. Yeah. And Deadpool is also on the way. They confirmed yeah. that as well. Yeah. What's coming? Is there a release date yet for the next Deadpool? Oh, is is, is Ryan Reynolds going to be in it? Of course. Yep. Well, he has of to. Of course. Be. Of course. <laughs> it's okay. It's contracted to be. <laughs> the main character. Yeah. True. <laughs> mm. that, that should be good. Yeah. Did you guys like the music scene in this one? The classical music scene? Uh, the yeah, music was, battle. Yeah. That was hilarious. It was quite nice to have some music in there. You know? yeah. <laughs> After like all the action, it's nice to have that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, especially as a battle. Music battle. Mm. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. 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 That was pretty cool. <laughs> mm. And what a lot of jump scares. And yeah, that was a surprising amount of jump scares there. <laughs> but that's uh, Sam Raimi's style, probably, just from having a horror background. Sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, but I guess he can put in like the more crazier horror tropes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really toned down horror. If it, I would say it's it would, yeah, it wouldn't much be more of an action horror. movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, sure. so what Easter eggs do we have? There's a lot. The first mm -hmm. one is Defender Strange. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The very first strange we see in the movie is called Defender Strange. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, from the beginning. So it, it was yeah. actually yeah. the Soul Sword Supreme. Oh, ponytail one, ponytail. Oh, that guy here. Yeah. The ponytail. Ponytail <laughs> Strange. Which, uh, which, the other Steve didn't like. Yeah, yeah, he didn't like it. It's taste, it's tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> he was speak yeah. Spanish, right? And this apparently one, he yeah. could speak Spanish. But Spanish one. Spanish. Yeah. Okay. So effectively, the first few words of the movie was Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I mean. then when he she talks Spanish in front of Doctor Strange, it's like, oh, which means, um, he doesn't know Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So when she went to, you know, the, the 616, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Strange there couldn't speak Spanish. And of course, he is not the Sorcerer Supreme again. Yeah, that's right. Is it wrong? Is it wrong? The Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, they keep making fun of that. It's like the... Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> the Book of Vishanti, which is what they all wanted. Yep. And they also mentioned Spider-Man. Shooting webs out of his butt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dark hole, yeah, we know about a dark hole. The dark Brain hole calculus. came from the Wonder Wonder Vision Wonder show Vision. as well at the end. At the end, yes. And Agatha Harkness had it. Hmm. Yeah, taken from Agatha Harkness by Wanda Maximoff. <clears throat> Brain calculus of the multiverse. Yep, it's a no but, way home quote. Yep, but effectively, the whole Wanda getting corrupted is, yeah, it's the book that corrupted her. Yeah. Her. The, the same thing happened to Doctor Strange with the Dark Cold. Mm. That was the one in that broken tower in mm. that other universe. Which we that, must... Yeah, that Doctor Strange was corrupted by the Dark Cold. Yeah, which yeah, we I saw guess, in uh, yeah. Loki, right? Loki was that the same place or not? No, it's a different place. That it's wasn't the same, sanct- that was yeah. not the sanctum type to one. Is it similar? It's similar, <laughs> it's similar, but that was in space and not the sanctum type of Oh, and then we have this one. The well, this is this is <laughs> this is quite gross. The eye. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially when the eye came out like yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the same Raimi I, I <laughs> yeah but the Spider-Man joke the best Spider-Man joke came from this movie instead of Spider-Man <laughs> there we go so, uh, does he shoot buzz out of his butt, of his butt yeah. maybe I don't know <laughs> yeah <clears throat> interesting uh, oh yeah oh Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what uh, John Rowe mentioned. How did, how does Where he... exactly his web shoot out of? <laughs> that was that was funny. <laughs> that was butt. Which is kind of like when Tom Holland was curious about the organic webs. Yeah. He's like, what? From from where? Like, it's... where is it coming out from? It's like. It's like what? Gross. It's <laughs> <laughs> coming out of his wrist. <laughs> Yeah, because the others don't have that. No. They have to make organic whips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, the WandaVision thing, we hear that like, dee, 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 dee. oh, yeah, yeah, several times. Yeah, you hear the theme a bit. Yeah. Mm. We see all these masters of the mystic arts. Yes. Yep, and also the masters of the other sanctums. Mm. We got a close up with the masters of the Hong Kong sanctum and the London one. What's this guy? Master Hamir. Mm. Oh, not, not too sure where he came from, though. Mm. Oh, this was the yeah. one that oh, he Stephen initially there. assumed was the ancient one. <laughs> the first of the three. Yeah, I must have completely forgot that. Mm. Yeah, but it's a bit, yeah. Mintra, the Minotaur. Yeah, we hear him talking for a little bit. Yeah. He's one of the defenders. Eh? Mm. Yeah. 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 And he was the one who pointed out the Hong Kong and London tank rooms. Right, right. <laughs> Hong Kong and yeah. Hong Kong. Yeah. There was some Cantonese, yeah, I heard. I heard yeah. Yeah. Chinese people. 
Yep. G mentioned that like G put a hole in the head of the <laughs> bat G loved. Mm. Oh, a ring reference. <laughs> oh yeah, when she comes out of Yeah, when she comes out. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like instead of the Oh yeah. TV. That, that was very horror like actual... wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> She comes from uh, the reflection in the twisting film. and contorting. Yes. Yeah. Very. Um, the yeah. one that one this one was more contorted. Yeah. Especially since the CGI was not as good back then. Mm -hmm. Or they can't really do it. This one was like even more. I more think, contorted. I think in the ring, that that was real. Like as in that was the actress actually contorting her body. Yeah, so it's a lot harder. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot harder to do than this one. Like, yeah, yeah. This, this the one, one in this movie was even more contorted. Yeah. In in this movie, it's definitely CGI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is a Yana spell. Vipers of Altor while protecting America. It's so, like, in What If? Mm. In What If? Okay. Yeah. Living Tribunal. Yeah, this was really similar to What If in terms of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he had the, the Captain Carter as well. Yeah. Had the, those, what if. the What If. Well, Carter, the What If is all about multiverse, right? So. Yeah. yeah, but I said the underlying thing about that we see it a bit with the other Doctor Strange. Mm. It was kind of Wanting to get Christine, so Tina Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. That was the best episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a fantastic episode. Yeah. So then it does seem like he never gets the girl. Mm, yeah. Every, every, so every Riyasi he feels. Yeah. It was, it was in the movie, was it Sam Raimi? No. Sam Raimi? Oh. Oh, no, no. No, Bruce, no, no, Bruce, no, no, Bruce Campbell. Campbell. This He's is... the guy who punched himself. Yeah, at the very yeah. end. The vendor. I think he's uh, saying that he's in every Sam Raimi movie. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, a cameo is a tradition for yeah, movies directed uh, by Sam Raimi. Are uh, they? They must be friends or something, because yeah. he, so he even had cameos in the original Spider-Man trilogy. His friends. <laughs> he's always. It, yeah, it's family. similar to how Marvel always had. Stanley. Stanley. Like Stanley a cameo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that 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 was pretty cool. So yeah. I don't think it's Not Star Wars. Yeah. Well, it gets a bit similar. Oh, okay. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Initially but... a friend and then betrayal. No, but Mordo was always a betrayal. Mm -mm. But this strange didn't know this particular Mordo. Yeah, this one is a different. <laughs> But in Star Wars, Han Solo and Lando were Lando. always friends. It's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Lando made a bad mistake. Yeah, betrayed him to uh, Darth Vader. Mm. But then Mordo is even worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. McLeod books. Where? Where? <laughs> Opposite the Sanctum Sanctorum. There's a bookstore called McLeod Books across hmm. from the Sanctum Sanctorum. A reference to Bob McLeod, Marvel they artist. They must have missed that. <laughs> Sense only Santi. Oh, putting them to sleep. Yeah, they mentioned that several times. Yeah, mm -hmm. the sense and Santi. And also in the in the cage, up. she used it. She made them. Oh, yes. Basically, the handcuffs that yeah. they had, yeah. it's made from the sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, the house appears. Yeah, the home. Yes. yes. The one that she wanted to create it. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it's... And we also... Yeah, saw... that, was, that was at near the end. So why? Yeah, the Snow White one was the last one when... The Scarlet Witch went into the home. Uh, yeah, it's on television. You can see it, you can see it uh, in the background. That's what they were watching on TV because 
And then there was like a black and white one really early on. On the TV before they sang the ice cream song. Mm. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. That was a more black and white one though. Not they didn't know which what that was. They recognized Snow White. And Wonder Vision was in the TV in Wanda's mind. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so also the Lucky Rabbit was also playing in the background. Hey, that must have been the black and white one then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first debut on Earth 838. Yeah, okay. Disney references. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this mountain is uh, from the comics. You know, the mountain that they had to go to uh, to get oh, the yeah. uh, original Dark Hole power. The, where the original Dark Hole spells were carved. Yes. Into. Um, so. Which is interesting. Is this place only in six one six? Because, mm. but but he they, they said that they destroyed one, they destroyed everywhere else, right? Yeah, because they destroyed the one place, it destroyed every dark hold in every universe. Mm. So there must only be one of it. Yeah, like, like a nexus, the nexus, nexus being. Yeah, that's the nexus. Yeah, place. I suppose. Like it wouldn't exist in any other. But yeah, we say the same thing like about e- Wanda like, herself. Like even America Chavez, there was only one. Yeah. But but we like, say the same thing America about Wanda, didn't we? And she's yeah, more than her. She one. was yeah, she was meant to be, but it does seem like they did make her one in the. So MCU. that's a bit of a contradic- contradiction. That's a bit different. Yeah. 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 But there is a nexus being now. Yeah. And we know because America. because America looked in every universe, there was only one of her. One of her, yeah. So she's she's a nexus being for sure. Mm. Mm. Oh, Baxter Building, which do you mention this one? Yes, uh, that kind of the the uh, Fantastic Four, yeah. Fantastic Four, most likely in the place which used to be Stark Tower mm. or Avengers Tower. Yep, the A38 version played by John Krasinski. Mm. And Mr. Fantastic. Ah, Black Bolt, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, he is back as the same actor. He's also the, the star of Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Captain. Quite a good show, Strange Captain New Worlds. Pike. Oh, I love it. I'm, I'm up to date. But anyway. <laughs> Sorry, what's the name of the? Oh, so yeah, but he's 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 the captain Asin, of no. Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. He's in Star Trek as well. He's the oh, captain. I, no, this was in the Inhumans. Yeah, yeah. So he was in Inhumans, which got cancelled after like one what? season, or less which, than one, or something, which, which yeah. didn't do so well. They finished the series. They oh, he finished the one season. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't even aware of that. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Well, it does seem like. The series is coming back, like they might well, have it come back because they use the same actor. Mm. Oh, okay. oh yeah, he doesn't speak. <laughs> yeah, but it does seem like they still revive this character. Mm. Okay. Or maybe it was a sort of way to get people to watch Inhumans again. <laughs> we do, we do not know. Maybe yeah. because it actually did get people to watch it again. Despite how bad it was, but you know, I haven't seen it, so I don't actually know how bad it was. Yeah, it wasn't great. I wouldn't say it was the worst, but yeah, yeah, it wasn't great. Yeah. And this <clears throat> chaos demon. So this demon. Um, yeah. What's the history <clears throat> of this demon like? Oh, the chaos the demon. demon. Yeah. Yeah, the first demon with the, I don't know. Mm. In the comics, mm. is okay. the first black magician yeah. in the Marvel universe. Okay, interesting. I don't know. Uh, yeah, magic. the more we get into the comics and stuff, the more I'm starting to get more confused and lost. Mm. This chair, yeah, this this is classic, right? Classic yeah. X Men ninety seven. <laughs> 
It's changed. Um, color, the, the green and yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they bought that back. And you can even yeah. hear the theme of, of the X-Men animated series. Hmm. Uh, yeah. At least we get him again. And then he died. <laughs> <laughs> and we get some incursions. Hmm. Who knows? Yeah, we might see more. Yep, we'll probably get more in a lot of these other multi basal movies. Yeah. That's what it seems like that's what they're setting up. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, we do see that is dead. Slain by the heroes of Earth H V eight. Yeah, with the sword like right in him. So on this earth, they he actually got slain. <laughs> So okay, even mm -hmm. though in six one six he didn't, they didn't kill him. Well, no, he got his head cut off. He did, but that's you know after he snapped everybody. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is different to the one that went forward in time because that was an alternate timeline to planners at the end battle. No. Yeah, which is why Thanos didn't know who Wanda was. So this quote from Xavier is actually from Days of Future Past. Yeah, I recognize that one. It's just because someone stumbles and loses their way doesn't mean they are lost forever. When you are talking to... Uh, yeah, strange. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Was he referring to Eric Magneto when he... Oh, was... back in this movie. I think he was talking to himself. Or was it... No. Yeah, his younger self, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Of that line, but... Um... I, I think, yeah, it's been so long. Yeah, I saw. The drones, yeah. But yeah, I guess it's a nice, nice little list. That's the least there. <laughs> yep. And the Ultron drones. Yep, which actually works. Yeah. The Ultron <laughs> idea actually works this time. Okay. Yeah. And voiced by the guy who voiced yeah. Ultron. And what if? Ross. Nice. Guy. What if? Not not James Spader, but you know, Ross McCon. The family of it was so fantastic. That's right. He mentions the family, but we never. We yeah, and don't forget that they, they they do actually have have a, a, a son and a daughter. Like so, if we do see the Fantastic Four in MCU, we probably see not just well, the four, yeah. but also the two children. Well, in terms of what it is, it does seem like if they do introduce the Fantastic Four. It will probably not be another origin story. Yeah, hopefully but, not. Yeah. That is what <laughs> Kevin Feige said it anyway. It won't be an origin story. It'll be boring story. if we see... Uh... I, don't, I don't think we need to revisit that. I think people already know from the other movies. Yeah. It's like... Let's Effectively, do... from what they said with Kevin Feige, it's like, when we meet the Fantastic Four, it would be already a refined Fantastic Four. Yeah, I think it's better that way. Yeah. Because we already got two origin stories, which yeah, didn't do well. They yeah. didn't need another one. Yeah, they kind of need to kind of move on from that and just... Um... <laughs> Removing the mail. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is similar to how Neo Smile was removed by Agent okay. Smith. Yeah, but that <laughs> was a simulation. <laughs> but yeah. One that same... actually physically took out, out the mouth. Yeah, yeah, this is really literally <laughs> did it. Yeah. <clears throat> like oh what? yeah, so, I can do this all day. Oh uh, yeah. I can do this all day. I can do this all day. That was Haley Atwell, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep, it was. Actually, you got a picture with Haley Atwell, Marcus. <laughs> well, I got a picture with Haley Atwell and Anson Mount, who oh. saw who was uh, Black Bolt. Oh, you got yeah. that board as well. Oh. Yeah. Back when, uh, <laughs> two, three years ago. Right. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> yep. 
616 photo trying to kill strange no more sorceress yeah they mentioned that so like we we didn't actually see that happen because a lot of time has come best but it mm. strange does actually say that the Mordo has been trying to kill him <laughs> yeah He's like already he, made some attempts, so... You know. yeah, yeah, exactly. He's definitely made some attempts in between the two films because Strange has already said that he dedicated his life to try to kill him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Maximo family deaths. Yeah. Surrounding them is rubble from a destroyed apartment. Showing that one of subconscious has partially recreated a traumatic moment when she and her brother Pietro lost her parents. Yeah, parents. we see that happen in Wonder Vision. Yeah, I see it in Wonder Vision. Yeah, we see that in Wonder Vision. Mm. That's mm. all event. Mm. Donna Strange. Yeah. Who's Donna Strange? The sister oh, that sister. they lost in the water. Oh, yeah. sister of yeah. Donna Strange. Yeah. yeah. And they talked about it when, when she was young. She fell into the frozen lake, I think. Right. Died. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Talking to a variant, his variant. Frozen lake. Um, um, yeah. So both of those strangers did have a Donna. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which why says it sounds about right. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's also the reason why Strange wanted to become like a doctor. Yeah. Mm. Or a surgeon. Yeah. To save lives, yeah. So this is what Jeff talked about. Oh yeah, the, the music that was that was one of the best bits of the uh, movie. And whack, no. So good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's also a, a the piano. It's also a callback to the piano Stephen used to play prior to oh. the accident. Yeah. I, I kind of forgot that he did. He did play the piano, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. that's right. He yep. played piano yep. yeah. before his hands got like damaged. Yeah, he was a great pianist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They played some classic songs like the um, Symphony Number no. Five by Beethoven and um, the Carden and Fugue by J.S. Bach. Some oh, classic, yeah. classic, classical music. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was a very creative scene. Yeah, yeah, creative. Yep. Yeah, turning uh, music notes into projectiles and shoes. Yeah. Mm. No. Yeah, that was <laughs> funny. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> no other way, huh? No other way. Infinity War Endgame. How many times have you heard that? <laughs> How many times have we heard this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He actually did say this is the only way. Yeah. yeah. The time stone. Um... Very close to my <laughs> Yeah, that, that's so uh, Doctor Strange because he can mm. see it. Yeah. And now he has a third eye. Third eye. Yeah. yeah. So he has yeah. even more now. I think it's because he used the dark hold, right? That's yes, yes. Yeah. Side effects. The dark hold. He said, take in the toll, like he says. Yeah. Take in the toll on the reader. Yeah, especially that Sinister Strange. Yeah, from Sinister Strange. And we get clear. It's played by Charlie Theron. Theron. Now, the interesting thing is that in the comic, she's the wife of Strange, and it's the current, Ooh. interestingly, yeah. also the current Sorcerer Supreme. She's the wife. In the comics. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, pretty major character in the comics. Yeah. Well, they they hmm. probably will go this path because, of course, we have, have seen now that in every universe, Doctor Strange fails to get Christy. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so forget about Christine. Move forget on. About Christine. Not meant gotta to find. Be. Yeah. <laughs> gotta find your, your love now. Yeah. Not only that, the same thing was in What If. Like, what If? That's exactly. Oh, yeah. Like he tries to save Christine so many times. And yeah. could... In Sorry. What If? Yeah. In What If. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's time. Time for the find new love. <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty exciting to having Charlize Theron in, yeah, in Marvel. That's, that's yeah. so cool. So, the big deal. so now yeah. she's like playing like two superheroes at the same time. What? Oh, who, who does she play before? So, um, uh, uh, no, she appeared in the, the boys. boys, yeah, recently as well. Oh, the boys. Oh, well, season. Premiere that I 
one went to. <laughs> yeah, so so now she has two geese and two superhero type shows. That's cool. Well, she's keeping busy, you know. Yeah, I'm busy. It's like well, all of a sudden into uh, so so she had uh two two came cameos in like in like the yeah. last just one year. In the space of a few months, yeah. In a space of a few months, yes, exactly. <laughs> but but I mean the boys one is probably just a one one off maybe. Yeah, probably. I think her role here is probably it's a, the bigger. Um, a bit bigger here in this one. The it's MCU one was bigger. is definitely bigger. Yeah. They're gonna have you know the next Doctor Strange movie. I'm sure she'll feature more. Yeah, yeah two Doctor Strangers. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's a bit like uh with Thor they have like a uh, yeah know, female male Thor, male and Thor. female so now they have other male Thor male strange and female strange yeah and it does seem uh, like they are leading up to the big battle because Quantum Mania is like the next Avengers level event maybe. yeah yeah with all the incursions and everything going on yeah the incursions yeah. <laughs> And secret invasion coming as well. Mm. Secret wars. Yeah. yeah. Secret invasion apparently has been filmed quite a bit now. There have been like scenes between Amelia Cloak and Sam Jackson. Okay. So are they like where are they up to in terms of filming? Are they in the middle of filming or are they? They, they think they're still in the middle of filming. There have been like people still taking pictures and stuff. Okay. And apparently some Star Wars fans have mentioned that mm. because they're together, they thought it was a Star Wars sequel. Yeah. It's not a secret invasion. Yeah, I mean, Marvel. Nick Fury... <laughs> I mean, I suppose... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose, there, you know, just because Emilia was in the solo movie. Huh? So, yeah, yeah, in the solo movie, and, and of course, Sam Jackson yeah. is and nice with Hindu, so <laughs> yeah, you can see where that yeah. where that mistake could happen but, if, no. if they didn't follow both. They could be confused. Yeah, oh. interesting. Uh, Anson, Anson Mount. Uh, okay, there you the go. black, the black ball. Yeah, yeah. All right, the black. Oh, ball. Nice. Inhuman. <laughs> and also, yeah, Captain good one. Christopher Pike of Star Trek: Strange New World. Oh, that's yeah, true. that's right. Quite, yeah. quite a good, quite a good series so far. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I gotta start watching. Oh yeah, that. and and, yeah. And, uh, oh. and this one. Oh yeah, hey, Captain hey, Carter. Hey, Captain hey, Carter. Hey, hey. So you take it with almost half the Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> so two of the Illuminati. Two of them, yeah. Two out of five. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, I'm glad they were able to to come to Australia because not everyone is yeah, able to come. So not many come. Yeah. Pretty cool when they can. <laughs> yeah. mm. Australia. Yeah, so Cleo is this the uncle. It's actually a niece of uh, the Mamu, which is the main villain from Doctor Strange Dormammu. One. Yeah, they've come to bargain. Come to bargain. Yeah, classic line. All right, I think we better do the review. Let's the score. It's approaching one yep. o'clock. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I quite liked it, yeah. I mean, for me, it's a 7.5 in terms of, you know, just the action is really great and, and quite creative in the way that they, they've they done it as well. Um, so, yeah, I quite like the visuals of this film. Some pretty good visuals, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, and just the fact that... Um, you know, I mean, Doctor Strange has always been a little bit, you know, more mystical, you know, there, so there's a lot more magic in, mm. in, in this compared to, I guess, the other Marvel movies, like, you know, if you compare it to, say, Iron Man or something, you know, it's it's very, very different in terms of the tone and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, looking forward to see where it goes um, with this. Um, Dark Dimension now <laughs> that that sort of opened up. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And so many Easter eggs. Like it took us a while <laughs> yeah. to get through Lots them. Of so yeah. many. 
yeah. yeah. The idea about dreams was quite interesting as well. Yeah, dream yeah, walking. The, the dream walking. Yeah. 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 Good concept. Um, not yeah. just dream walking, the dreams are a, a oh, view real. into your multiversal selves. Yeah. Mm. Like you could see the other you in your dreams. Sort of like an, an alter ego in, in your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Which apparently is not a new concept. Mm. Yeah, it's been done in a movie or something. No, people have thought that as have like an actual thought at one point. Not not just like a movie concept, it's actually a proper theory. Like a philosophical. Oh, in real life. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Like a philosophical theory, yeah. <laughs> Probably not real, but it's actually a idea which yeah. We do not know. It's a theory. Mm. Probably not real. All right. Who's next? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll give a Doctor Strange. I'll give it a bit higher. I'll give it <laughs> I'll give it eight and a half, I reckon. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It, it's um it's just got so many dimensions to it. I like guess um, mm. so many different characters, right? Yeah. You got Wanda, you got the Savior, you got um, as Charlie Siron as well at the end. Um, just lots to think about. Um, especially for me, I'm a, more of a new new Marvel fan, so seeing all these characters together, I, I can learn a bit more about them and their mm-hmm. past as well. So um, no, it's really good, and and um, yeah, the fight scenes were good, and maybe scary at times, but not too bad, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, overall pr- pretty good throughout, I guess. Eight point five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is Bill still with us? By the way, like, <laughs> not too sure. <laughs> the Bill, did you fall into the multiverse portal or something? Or... <laughs> Just, um... yeah. He's probably we'll asleep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back again. Yeah. We'll so Marcus, Benny, yeah. your scores. Uh, yeah, Marcus, you wanna? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, for me, it's about seven ish, seven, seven point. Uh, maybe I'll get seven point five. Yeah, I like Steph. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 good. It's it's Sam Raimi. It's Marvel's first uh, horror movie in a way. No it's horror. True. It's it's too light to be horror. Yeah, it's yeah. Got it, it's got horror elements. It's got horror elements, elements uh, to elements. it. So I think but a lot of people describe it as like Marvel's experimenting with more of a horror tone to it. That's why they got Sam Raimi into it. It's not perfect. Um, yeah, it's but, a bit too light. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I I don't think you can really see a. Disney Marvel movie being a total horror. It just yeah, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't fly with audience. <laughs> Disney doesn't do horror movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I, yeah, I, I think it's got that. The balance was okay. Which is yeah. why Fox had to do it. Yeah, I mean, you, you just can't, can't do like a full horror movie. <laughs> with Disney yeah, with not Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, so, but yeah, what what we saw was, I guess, good enough. He was kind of pushing pushing the limits. Pushing a the limits, bit. yeah. Um. So yeah, I thought from in from that point of view, it, it's kind of refreshing to see Marvel do something a little bit different. Yeah. Um. You know. Uh, so so at least it didn't feel like it's just oh like the same thing all over again. <laughs> Which some some critics seem to think that all Marvel movies are the same, but I can see mm-hmm. why, how it's different because Very these different. filmmakers have their own stamp on things. So Sam Raimi's style and signature uh, style of horror, mm-hmm. you can see that flow through in this movie. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I kind of yeah. liked it, uh, even though it's kind of messy. But I, I thought the messiness was actually quite appropriate for yeah, yeah, a movie. Oh, the about key. the multiverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> the multiverse of madness. Uh, I mean, yes, it's yeah. not as messy as everything, everywhere, all at once. Which was essentially a better movie. Because, yeah, some I, people might argue I think that the opposite that's actually, a better yeah. one, but this is obvi- this obvi- this one I thought was more epic. Uh, Probably just is. because it's you know the scale and scope of it. 
Um, so yeah, I'll I'll give it a seven point five <laughs> for all those reasons, and obviously looking forward to the setup with Clea. Clea, and what's yeah. To come. yeah, yeah. Seven point yeah, five. I think, look, I, I think I, I pretty much agree with everything you you guys said so far. Look, I won't repeat it, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, I think I told you guys a couple of months ago when I watched it, I, I was gonna, I gave it 7.5. So oh. after the rewatch at 7.5 still. Um, so not the best Marvel movie, but um, mm. I still really enjoyed it. And, mm. you know, it's, it's got a lot of good visual effects and, you know, mm. Good, good mystical and magical scenes. Mm. Um, um, yeah, so I, I like how they uh, developed um, a Scarlet Witch story since you know since um, the beginning, since she came out in the Civil War or, or Age of Ultron or whatever. Um, okay. So they really, yeah, it came, it came full circle with Scar uh, Scarlet Witch. You know, it was a <laughs> definitely a resolution with um, Wanda at the end and. Um, and I thought it's good to you know, see a fresh new character in America Chavez and um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. got some new characters in there. And mm. yeah, even that, like, yeah, Marcus said it was, it was, it, you know, it was, it was messy, it was messy in a good way. I thought, um, mm. but it was still, you know, it was still, you know, quite clear to, to follow mm. the story. Um, I thought, I mean, from my point of view, and I thought it was a bit more, yeah, easier to follow than the um that other everything everywhere. Body. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. But yeah, I actually overall, I just enjoyed this one more. And and I I think it has some heart in this movie as well. You know, with mm. with you know the development of Wanda and Doctor mm. Strange and um um yeah. So overall I thought it was definitely like you know a very Sam Sam Raimi style kind of movie yeah, yeah, some horror yeah. elements but it wasn't a horror movie but it was, had a bit of horror elements and just yeah overall you know a pretty good movie with a good with a good plot um good good mm. effects and good action scenes so mm. yeah it's just mm. 7.5 yeah yeah mm. I definitely enjoy this movie. It's quite good. Maybe eventually I'll do like a reason why I prefer everything everywhere all at once to this movie as a comparison. Mm -hmm. But overall, this movie is still quite solid, mm -hmm. including <laughs> the the arc of the characters. Like Marvel tends to do a lot of stuff which are not as predictable as what Marcus has been saying, that a lot of movies <laughs> seem to be the same. Yeah. This one is not. Yeah. Because, yeah, because what happens in most movies of like a love story, like this one sort of was, the guy always tends to get the girl. This one, yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah, they're always going to be like separate. They never, they could never get together, mm. which is kind of prevalent in this movie as well as what if he will never be together with Chrissy Pollard. Yeah, that's true. So at the end of the movie, he says, are you happy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's actually quite a good way of putting it. It's like, mm -hmm. it's, not, it it's not just a movie to show you that element. It's actually a, a movie to actually make you think, are you actually happy as well? Like, in all of the trials and tribulations of the world, mm -hmm. are you actually happy? Philosophical. Yes, a mm. <laughs> question. So I do actually like that element of that. It's yeah. not as as obvious until mm. they actually say it. Yeah. And as well, we do know again, the enemy is something that a lot of people can relate to. Mm. Like Wanda, she is a mother. Again, she kept calling herself a mother instead of a monster because what mother would do everything she can to get her kids? Yeah. I mean, she went like way overboard in the dark hole, completely yes. possessed her and <laughs> corrupted her. Yeah. But still, at the end, she figured out what she did wrong and 
Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. She kind of atoned for it by destroying the whole mountain and the dark hole. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like Doctor Strange would did it. It was her herself. She caused sure. all of the mess. Mm. And it was her fault. She figured that out at the end. So she made things right. And we do know that Wanda survives. Because otherwise she wouldn't have signed up for a new show. Yeah. 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 Does she really have kids? Does she? Or, yeah. Are those no. really her kids? Or well, those are the other the main. Well, yeah. the other universe ones. Universe. I think in the other universe, it's real. Technically, they were created by magic, but um, I oh, think they do really exist in the in the other universe. In the other universes, but the universe that we do know, she created them in her mind. Yeah, in they the were not real. Uh, it doesn't have any. Name. It was the whole one division show. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But yeah, quite solid. A lot of things they did quite right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fight scenes, elements everywhere. Bit of horror. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of a horror geek. I like horror. There might be an Oxford universe where I'm running away from a clown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wong. Well, yeah. Which is probably why I completely hate clowns. I cannot stand a clown at all. <laughs> yeah. I remember I that. Yeah. Especially it. Like you know, when you when it, that's like the jaws of clowns, you know what I mean? Like it's you know, just the like jaws of clowns. <laughs> so that's why sometimes I think looking at this movie now, it's maybe the dream thing is actually <laughs> could it be true? I don't know. <laughs> but there's probably a universe where I'm like running away from a clown. It exists somewhere. <laughs> like one. Probably na- not naked though. Not naked like one. <laughs> Hmm. but I think that's a lot of the people who are afraid of clowns have that sort of dream Hmm. yeah it's definitely a phobia yeah a lot of people out there that uh, have clown phobia yeah Yeah. me especially I can handle any other horror movie well just I cannot do clowns (laughs) fair enough overall overall, Hmm. My score is a seven. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Really it's, yeah. definitely, it's definitely not the best movie, but it did a lot of stuff quite well. In Marvel fashion, they create the enemy, the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. We know her from the past. So seeing her transform to this, mm. it is a bit jarring. Yeah. But it is also in terms of what Marvel likes to do. Yeah. They develop the enemy so well that even at the end we relate to this space. Mm-hmm. I can empathize with them. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was like what what was also kind of done with, you know, the Winter Soldier, for example, or you know. Exactly. And we had yeah. the whole WandaVision show which just set it all up. Yeah. Which yeah. sets up the element of like connecting to this character. Although if people never watch the show, I guess they would still get it, but it just They'd probably be... still get it, but then you don't yeah. connect to the kids. You don't connect to yeah, the yeah. her as a mother. Yeah. And like, considering that this was released close to Mother's Day, um yeah, MOM sure. um, multiverse of madness. Yeah, sure. yeah. It is actually a movie about a mother scorned. Yeah, it mm. does make sense to release it around then, actually. It was probably yeah. good timing in the end, despite yeah. the moment. <laughs> Mother's Day movie. Yeah. Yes, practically a Mother's Day movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I always, yeah. I think I always thought Doctor Strange 2, like, Eternity title, title could be Doctor Strange 2, um, mm. The Rise of the Scarlet Witch, you know? Yeah. So. It could be. <laughs> But yeah. Multiverse of Madness is also a good name because it spells yeah. out mom. It is catchy. Mom. Mom. Yeah, mom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Emma. That's she, why I caught. she is a mother and yeah. she was completely. Yeah. She was. She just wants to be with the kids. Yeah. Just... yeah. That was really her, own, her only motivation. It wasn't like she wanted to take over the universe or anything. You know? Yeah, that was her only motivation. Like, Again, that that's the good reason. Yeah, she yeah wasn't really like hungry for power, or you know, like a lot of villains have that as their yeah, which is like like I want to take over the universe, I want to rule the world. 
it's all about power for them, whereas this is not a power trip at all for her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This one's for we did love everything for children. For kids. Mm. So yeah, that is also quite different. It's not as mm. the same as every other movie. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's why she's not she's not an absolute villain. Like Marvel's yeah. good at making just not absolute know. volumes. It's not the same kind of villain as Hydra, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're evil, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but even Hydra isn't like full, full, full evil. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Seven from IGN, so same oh, so. as uh, John Osborne, huh? Yeah. Doctor Strange is a samey, Sam Raimi movie um, from top to bottom. I mean, I do like Sam Raimi's style, so I don't have an, an issue. Well, with you know, it's yeah. the first foray into this Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. But considering the whole elements of Marvel, I think Loki set, set up perfectly. Yeah. Because what he says is, no one bad is ever truly really bad. And no one good is ever truly good. Yeah. Yes, That's such a great I mean, line. You look at the development of Loki's character is is another one. You know where he starts off as like villainous kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Something else. So. And from what Kevin Feige also says is, if it wasn't for the Loki ending of season one, mm. Spider Man wouldn't have happened, and Doctor Strange would not have happened. Because apparently that movie has had opened the doors to the multiverse exploding. Yeah. That that was essentially his voice in, in like a different yeah. way. Yeah. He said it in a different way, but yeah. that, that's practically what he meant. Yeah. I mean the whole TGA and you know, having that yeah, yeah. and the sacred timeline branching out at the end. Yeah, that, yeah. that since the timeline completely separated, then that's the reason why. Now all of these events are happening in the MCU. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. One fifteen. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. In terms cool. of box office, uh, yeah. it's currently yeah. sitting okay. at number two. So Top Gun oh. Maverick is the top right now. Wow. So it's number two. I'm surprised, but yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm happy. I am um, surprised. So it is. It's, it's right. beaten Batman so far. So Batman wow. is number three. <laughs> That's Jurassic surprise. World Dominion at number four. Number four. Okay. Spider-Man No Way Home. This is last year though. It's last year. Yeah. 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 Maybe they still count it. There's a cut across it to January, I guess. So this is the top five currently. So Top Gun <laughs> Mavericks would probably still hold, I think, for the year. I think, yeah. Um, yeah I, I believe I believe that. Yeah. Top, top Gun. Top. It's a great movie. Um, yeah. I can see it sitting yeah. on top. Mm. Yeah, please I'll see. Maverick. I mean, we'll see because uh, Thor is coming out um, soon. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Thor may. That's the next. Make, yeah. I wonder where Thor would hit. Maybe. I don't two, know where. It top five. Top five. Or four. Top four. Yeah. That's, that's in like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Happens that's the, two weeks. Avengers. Can't wait to watch that. And um, it's only halfway through the year, so yeah, it's still a lot of time for for movement in the charts <laughs> and. Um, yeah, that's true. And don't forget Avatar 2. That might just keep, go to the top straight away. So, <laughs> in, what? in December. Avatar 2. Never. The Way of Water. James Cameron. Yeah. James Cameron, right? Well, Whenever he. Second he... Avatar movie. So. Oh, wow. oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that would be yeah. interesting to see. Yeah. 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 I like yep. the trailer. The visuals were really beautiful. No. <laughs> the trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love the first one. Yeah. Trailers it's so awesome. long, those. It's been, like, yeah, it's been like more than 10 years. Yeah, I was going to say 20 years or 10 years. I, more, I think like more than 10 years. Long, um, such a long time. I think, it was like I think it's about 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. I'm 20 pretty years? Sure. No. Yeah. It came out in the early 2000s. Um, I thought it yeah, was like I, th- I think. 2000. Really? Yeah. Especially. Uh, check, check yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Especially I think it's 2008. In, yeah. 2008. Okay, yeah. Especially in the years of like the disc formats. Yeah. Yeah, Avatar was the first to not only did the 3D format, but also one of the first movies to go on Blu-ray. Right, right. Okay, yeah. okay cool. Blu-ray. Yeah. So uh, Blu-ray was like the whole sort, sort out like high disc. At the time, yeah. At the time. Yeah. And now it's like quite... Yeah. Well, now we've got 4K. Now. now it's Ultra yeah, HD. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's like 4K Blu-ray. Yeah, 4K <laughs> Blu-ray. UHD, Blu-ray, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Avatar was one of the first with just 4K. I mean, uh, no with, more just, Blu-ray, with, just, yeah. with just a Blu-ray standard. Mm. Yeah. It was the movie that kind of took off Blu-ray as a whole. Mm. 
So considering that, how old is it? Considering that Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray mm. is starting going down because of streaming services. Avatar, 2009 film. Oh, so, right, okay. So about 13, 13 years. 13 years. Yeah. Still a long time. Yeah. Um, Still a long time. Still a long, but not as long as Top Gun and Top Gun 2, <laughs> which was 36. Oh, yeah, Top Gun was 37. Was 36, 30, yeah. 37. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, a lot of things are coming back, like including Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor. How long did it take I for mean, them to go? Oh, that'd be one. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's I, right. Think that, I think that was also 20 years. Yeah, that's at least 20 years. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they still, you know, look their parts. I mean, you know, they, it's not like their appearance has changed so much that they don't recognize them as Obi Wan or like they haven't aged that much. You know, like uh, Hayden Christensen definitely looks a lot older. He looks mm. a lot older, but Ewan McGregor like, doesn't yeah. seem to have changed too much. Okay, Ewan's aged quite well. Yeah, I was gonna say. he's aged, aged quite well. Um, he doesn't look too different, but Hayden Christensen, he has like so much. He looks older than Ewan McGregor now. <laughs> Is it? Not the same, not the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> oh, t- tomorrow's the finale too, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Obi- yeah. 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 I have watched it. It looks it's good. Oh, if Jonathan says yeah. it's good. I can't wait good. to watch it. Is yeah, it, I've been really enjoying how, it. How much longer? 44 is? minutes. 44 okay. Oh, not, not too long. Oh, so it's, it's 44 not... minutes and expects a good battle. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Like Return of the Jedi. Come on. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. I'm predicting a lightsaber good. battle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I definitely want a good battle. I think yeah. everyone wants that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Cool. cool. Looking forward to yeah. that. All right. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. All right, people. Uh, yeah. All right, people. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yep. see you guys too see tomorrow you. night. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. For it's Star Wars and Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Marvel. Double. Double. Yeah. <laughs> Double. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, good to see everyone. Yeah. Right. Uh, have a good night. Yeah. Good to see everyone. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night.